Debbie, and in my 7.30 a.m. class on Wednesdays, we've been working as a group towards accomplishing Vasti Stasana side plank pose. Now today, I'm going to give you three options that you can take to work towards the fullest expression. So we'll start with one modification, then we'll perform a second, and then finally uh, a full straight arm balancing pose. So to begin class, get your mat out and come on to the right side of your body. Bring your right elbow directly under your shoulder. Look down the midline of your mat and make sure your heels, hips, and shoulders are on the same imaginary line. You're in one narrow plane there. Otherwise, if you let the bun stick out in back or you're misaligned with shoulders rolling forward, your body weight's thrown off balance. It makes the pose more difficult for you. Okay. Now start with your feet. Engage. Spread the toes, press out through the big toe balls, lift your kneecaps, engage your quads, tone your pelvic floor and belly. You may bring your left hand down for support, or you may bring your left arm to your left hip. Take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, lift your left hip, your right hip will come up with it. Now you can take the left arm high. Christine, you've got a screen. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so just start where you were because what it'll do is it'll just, I'll just edit that out. So just pause for a second. Go back to what you were just, just, just saying. Arms up. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just says, it's just, it was the back. It'll be okay. Now you can bring the left hand to the left hip. Lift the left hip. Maybe you'd like to take the left arm high as well. Keep pressing out through the big toe balls of your feet. Keep the quads engaged, your belly toned, and your chin off your chest. Stay long through your neck as well. Take a breath, and then slowly release your hips down. As you can take the pose now on the other side. The actions are the same. The left elbow under the left shoulder. Make sure the fingers are nicely spread. It's a down dog left hand. Make sure it's lined up, heels, hips, shoulders, and then engage, starting with your feet. Again, the right hand can come down for support. You can use it to help press the hips up. Maybe the right hand on the hip, maybe the arm goes high. Keep thinking about lifting the top hip. The bottom hip comes up with it. Take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, lower slow. Let's switch back to the right side. We'll take the second version of Vasti Sasana. So this time, if your shoulder is healthy, no issues with your wrist, you can take this pose with a straight arm. Here you would bring the wrist directly under the shoulder, lining up the wrist, elbow, and shoulder. If you come up in this position, everyone, and you feel some pressure in the shoulder, just come down, move the hand forward two to three inches. That might relieve any discomfort you feel there. Okay. Now, go ahead, lift up, bend the top leg, bring your foot to the floor, a 90 degree bend in the top leg, knee directly over ankle, just like in your lunge everywhere. And then press the four corners of the left foot down, lift the left hip, the right hip comes up with it, and then your left arm goes high. And now keep the shoulder blades together on your back ribs so the upper chest stays open and broad, your lungs fill, and then the chin lifts off the chest for another three, two, one. Great effort, slowly come down and switch sides. Okay, 
So the straight arm version, you're going to place your hand right at the mid line of the mat. Use your right hand to help me come up. Bend the right leg 90 degrees. Take your tailbone towards your bottom heel. You want to stay long through the spine and open through the chest. The right arm reaches high as you make space around the collarbones. Take a deep breath in and exhale, release down. Now, the final expression of the pose, everyone. Gonna come back to the right side. It's a straight arm pose, hand on the midline of the mat, your heels and hips as well. Then you can use the left hand to help yourself up. The left arm goes high. Your feet are stacked here, the left on top of the right. You're starting with the feet and engaging those leg muscles. Firm every muscle you can find to your thigh bones. Tone your pelvic floor and belly. Maybe you would like to stay here if you want to Move toward the more challenging version. You can lift the top leg for three, two, one. Slowly bring the leg down, lower yourself to the mat, and switch sides. Okay. So now the left wrist under the shoulder, come up. Every muscle that you can find in your legs is engaged to help support the weight of the pelvis. Open the chest and then maybe work towards a variation. Lifting the top leg. Three, two, one. Slowly lower the leg. Bring the right hand down and release your pose. Great effort, everybody. Now, class, if you felt those poses were challenging, just on your mat, in class, or in your living room, then we'll make a second video where I'll show you how to work those poses 